The topic for this lesson is Varactor and other special diodes. The Varactor diode operates in the reverse bias mode and is doped to maximize the capacitance inherent in the depletion region. When a PN junction is reverse biased, the depletion region at the junction has a width that is dependent upon the junction voltage. The depletion region is formed by accumulation of space charge. Because of this space charge and the voltage across the depletion region, the depletion region possesses properties similar to capacitance. The junction capacitance is inversely proportional to the width of the depletion region. If V sub J denotes the junction voltage and K is a constant, which is 0.333 or 0.5 depending upon the manner in which the PN junction is fabricated, then junction capacitance is proportional to V sub J to the power of K. Hence, the PN junction under reverse bias acts as a voltage controlled capacitor. When a PN junction is used in this mode, it is called a varactor. The symbol for a varactor is shown in the illustration. The varactor tuning ratio is also called the capacitance ratio. It is the ratio of the diode capacitance at a minimum reverse voltage to the diode capacitance at a maximum reverse voltage. An important application of varactors is in tuning circuits. Varactors are used in TV tuners and other commercial receivers. The use of a varactor instead of or in addition to a capacitor in a tuned circuit gives rise to a voltage tunable resonant circuit. Such a circuit can be used in the generation of frequency modulated or FM signals. Pin diodes are another type of diode that are useful in high frequency circuits. They can switch at RF frequencies of more than 300 megahertz. Beside RF switching applications, pin diodes are often used in modulation circuits. The specific frequency of a pin diode is equal to 1 over 2 pi times r, where r is the recombination lifetime of the device. The Shockley diode is constructed of two of each type of semiconductors in an alternating pattern. That is, if an ordinary diode can be designated as NP, the Shockley diode can be described as NPNP. It is also known as the four-layer diode. Like other diodes, it has two terminals, an anode and a cathode. The Shockley diode is used primarily in switching applications. The switching properties are similar to a neon glow lamp. Each Shockley diode has an inherent trigger voltage. Below this voltage, the device is in the off state and has very high resistance. But on application of a voltage greater than the trigger voltage, the device will switch on and the resistance drops to a very low value. The on resistance for a Shockley diode is just a few ohms. If a third electrode called a gate is added to a four-layer Shockley device, the device is then known as a silicon controlled rectifier or SCR. When current passes through a substance, some of the electrical energy is converted into heat energy. The semiconductor device can be designed which converts this heat energy into light energy. This type of device is called a light emitting diode or LED. Like an ordinary diode, an LED will pass current in only one direction. When an LED is reverse biased, it simply blocks the flow of current like an ordinary diode. However, when an LED is forward biased, it glows or emits light energy. LEDs are used extensively in electronic circuits as indicator devices. Typical symbols for LEDs are illustrated. The laser diode emits light, but a much more powerful and focused type of light than an LED. A laser diode operates when it is forward biased. Most laser diodes can withstand only a relatively small reverse bias voltage without being damaged.